I want to skip the flattery and the attaboys, because I do know this. The sooner that we become less impressed with our life, with our accomplishments, with our career, with whatever that prospect is in front of us, the sooner we become less impressed and more involved with that and these things, the sooner we get a whole lot better at doing it. Now, why do you pursue things that scare you? Why seek the role that's hard? Because it costs me something. Because it costs. It comes with a price. It's not really a risk unless you can lose the fight. I feel more alive in them. I have an experience in the making of them. I'm nervous every day I come to work. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it. Get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. I feel like when I nail a day and I knock it and I know I did, I feel like, yes. I, get, I, I have a measure at the end of the day, like you set out to do something, you prepared for it, you had intention and you did it. That gives me gratification. That makes me feel, gives me significance. That gives me confidence. So be brave, have courage. And when you do, you get stronger, you get more aware, you get more respectful of yourself and that which you fear. I want to talk about our opponent this afternoon. They're bigger, faster, stronger, more experienced. And on paper, they're just better. And they know it too. But I want to tell you something that they don't know. They don't know your heart. Well, because heading out there, what I feel like I was born to do. And it excites me. Oh, just because you can? Nah. It's not a good enough reason to do something. Even when it means having more. Be discerning. Choose it because you want it. Do it because you want to. It's on you. It's on you. We remember the stuff we earn, the stuff we experience more than what the teacher tells us or what someone gives us for free. We just do, we broke the proverbial sweat on it, whether it was mental or physical or whatever, we, we, we built it, we, we understand, we felt how we got it, how we achieved it, how we got what we wanted. Those stick with us, whether we forget them intellectually, they were written in our lineage and they build resilience and they, and, and, and they build a healthy, true optimism going forward to know that, oh no, I've, I've, I've worked for something before and achieved it. Delayed gratification. Oh, there are choices I can make today for myself that will pay me back later in life and i've got friends and trust me i've done it myself you know that lose a job and then get another but won't take it because it's less salary than maybe the one they had before and all of a sudden find themselves three four five six seven eight years a decade later going they're still stuck they, they didn't do anything they're still saying like no i'm gonna find that thing and i'm going like, you missed a decade man just go do that one that, that you love to do that maybe was going to pay you less because you'd at least been building something through the day. And who knows what that would have led to? Maybe that would have led to something where you're getting paid five times more than you were doing something else you love even more. Uh, so sometimes it's not even about what choice we make. Just make a choice and commit to it and go and dive in. So while we're here and they're going to run across the Jumbotron, let's make it a place where we break a sweat where we believe, where we enjoy the process of succeeding in the places and ways that we are fashioned to, where we don't have to look over our shoulder because we're too busy doing what we're good at, voluntarily keeping our own counsel because we want to, traveling towards immortal finish lines, we write our own book, overcoming our fears, we make friends with ourselves. And that is the place that I'm talking about. From the soles of your feet, with every ounce of blood you've got in your body, lay it on the line until the final whistle blows. And if you do that, if you do that, we cannot lose. So turn the page, get off the ride. You are the author of the book of your life. Knowing who we are is hard. It's hard. Give yourself a break. Eliminate who you are not first and you're gonna find yourself where you need to be.
And the Oscar goes to Matthew McConaughey. I had a very important person in my life come to me and say, who's your hero? And I said, I don't know, I gotta think about that. Give me a couple of weeks. I come back two weeks later, this person comes up and says, who's your hero? I said, I thought about it. You know who it is? I said, it's me in 10 years. So I turned 25, 10 years later. That same person comes to me and goes, so are you a hero? And I was like, not even close. No, no, no. She said, why? I said, because my hero is me at 35. So you see, every day, every week, every month, and every year of my life, my hero is always 10 years away. I'm never gonna be my hero. I'm not gonna attain that. I know I'm not, and that's just fine with me because that keeps me with somebody to keep on chasing. So to any of us, whatever those things are, whatever it is we look up to, whatever it is we look forward to, and whoever it is we're chasing, to that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. To that I say just keep living, huh? Thank you. Nobody has ever choked. I have. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, fumbling at the goal line, stuck your foot in your mouth once you got to the microphone, had a brain freeze on the exam that you were totally prepared for, forgot the punchline to a joke in front of 4,000 graduating students at the University of Houston commencement. Or maybe you've had that feeling of, oh my God, life just cannot get any better than this moment. And ask yourself, do I deserve this? Now what happens when we get that feeling? Tense up. We have this sort of outer body experience where we are literally seeing ourselves in the third person. And we realize that the moment just got bigger than us. You ever felt that way? I have. And it's because we have created a fictitious ceiling, a roof to our expectations of ourselves. A limit where we think it's all too good to be true. But it's not. And it's not our right to say or believe it is. We shouldn't create these restrictions on ourselves. A blue ribbon, a statue, a score, a great idea, the love of our life, a euphoric bliss. Who are we to think that we don't deserve or haven't earned these gifts when we get them? It's not our right. But. If we stay in process, all right, within ourselves, in the joy of the doing, we will never choke at the finish line. Why? Because we aren't thinking of the finish line. Because we're not looking at the clock. We're not watching ourselves on the jumbotron performing the very act that we're in the middle of. No, we're in process. The approach is the destination, and we are never finished. Bo Jackson, what did he do? He used to run over the goal line, through the end zone, and up the tunnel. The greatest snipers and, and marksmen in, in the world, they don't aim at the target. They aim on the other side of the target. We do our best when our destinations are beyond the measurement, when our reach continually exceeds our grasp, and when we have immortal finish lines. And when we do this, the race is never over. The journey has no port. The adventure never ends because we are always on the way. So do this, do this and let them, let somebody else come up and tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you, you, you scored. Let them run up and tap you on the shoulder and say, man, you, you won. Let them come tell you, you can go home now. Let them say, I love you too. Let them say, Thank you. Take the lid off the man-made roofs that we put above ourselves and always play like an underdog. Responsibility of freedom and the freedom in responsibility. Life's more than just straight Saturdays with as much cake as you want to eat, it just is. We'll see how long you last doing that, if you really do it, you won't last that long. Responsibility is, is appreciation of a past, it's building of a lineage, it's investing in ourselves, it's investing in something we started to build yesterday that we want to take into tomorrow. There's a response that gives us freedom. So to actually have true freedom, we have to be more responsible for certain things, for ourselves, who we are. Constantly investigating and interrogating our better selves to say, I'm gonna be a little bit better at this tomorrow. Knowing that we never land, we never, we never, there's no, there's no ta-da moment. And that is one thing I think we all gotta watch because we all are so result oriented. But there's no ta-da moment, we're always chasing yet and if we can get comfortable and understand and laugh at, and, and and be ready to work hard at the fact that we're all just achieving our way to the unachievable 
and that's as good as it gets. And that's pretty damn awesome.